A family in Paso Robles is struggling to make ends meet as their rental property investment is now emptying their bank account. I took an in-depth look at how the eviction protection for renters is forcing one local landlord to cover over $25,000 in expenses. It's cheaper for us to live than supporting this other family in our other house. Paso Robles resident Christine Minkinen has a one-year-old daughter, but instead of enjoying this first year as a mom, she says she's been in an ongoing battle with tenants in her family's Atascadero rental property. And it's been so much stress, so much paperwork. It's a domino effect with thousands of job cuts due to the pandemic. Renters can't pay rent, landlords often can't pay their mortgages, and tenants largely protected from evictions due to a moratorium extended till the end of June. Like I totally understand it for people who have lost a job and they're struggling. But Christine says these particular tenants have jobs but stopped paying rent. They also stopped paying utilities and have accumulated so much junk in the front of their rental, it's prompted complaints from neighbors and the city. California's rent relief program is set up to help relieve financial stress. Rent will be forgiven and the landlord will accept 80% payment from the state of California through these funds. The Five Cities Homeless Coalition in San Luis Obispo County helps people apply, but here's the kicker. Landlords, however, need the tenants to participate in order for them to be paid. Christine says her tenants have recently stopped returning her phone calls, leaving her unable to complete the application. I called Christine's tenants and have not heard back yet. It's a terrible time to be a residential landlord in the state of California. Dennis Balsamo practices law in Arroyo Grande. What I've seen tenants do is taking advantage of the situation. The uh, landlord has to jump through all kinds of hoops. The police are just, they said their hands are tied, they can't do anything, we have to call the sheriff's department. And then the sheriff's department says call the court. And the court says, sorry, we can't do anything, and it just goes in circles. For a landlord learning to navigate their rights, it may seem overwhelming, but Balsamo says it's not hopeless, it's just not easy, and it takes time. It is possible. You got to cross all your T's and dot all your I's. And I spoke with Minkinen yesterday who said she received a notice from the Atascadero Fire Marshal saying the front yard of a rental has to be cleaned up by June 2nd or they will be fined. But she has been advised by her lawyer that it would be illegal to throw out her tenant's belongings. She's now talking to the Sheriff's Department and the Fire Marshal to get an extension to buy her time.